All right, folks, so there's some bad news and some good news, depending on which camp you're in, about Apple. You might have heard that recently a judge, Judge Von Gonzalez Rogers, who's a U.S. District Court judge, sided with Apple mostly, with a few caveats. Uh, by the way, of course, I'm talking about the Epic versus Apple battle, the court battle. It's a lawsuit brought forth by Epic Games last year because Apple charges 30% if you purchase a subscription through the iPhone or through the iPad, through the App Store. So how does this affect us developers? I'm gonna talk about this as well, but first, for those of you that are not familiar with how the whole system works is, if you create a piece of software, an app for distribution in the App Store, the Apple App Store, and you wanna provide purchases, subscription services, think about it as, uh, let's say, Netflix. You wanna to subscribe to Netflix and you pay a monthly fee, if you subscribe to Netflix through the App Store and you pay, let's say, $7.99 a month, Apple keeps 30% of that. There's just no way around it. That's it. If you want to sell your app and you want to sell subscriptions for the convenience of it in the App Store, you have to pay Apple 30%. So that's what Epic Games is fighting over. And Fortnite, their most popular game up to date is what uh, spurred this whole thing. Well, there are other creators of software that have circumvented this by not offering in-app purchase options. Instead, they say, okay, you can go purchase the service on our website, or they don't actually say that. You kind of have to do it. You're forced to go to their website and purchase the service or subscription through their website, and then you can go back to the app and sign in and proceed that way. And Apple did not allow you to have a button in your application that would take you to the store on the website of the application developer to do the purchase there and then come back to the app. Well, here's where this lawsuit and this decision by the judge is going to really have an effect on the way the applications are developed and sold. So this court case is considered a win for Apple for the most part because now Epic, well here, I'll show you. Um, according to The Verge here, Epic now must pay Apple uh, $3.5 million. I thought it was for something, but here it says more than $3.5 million because they didn't pay them and now they owe them. Well, $3.5 million for these companies is pretty much nothing. So it's like a slap on the wrist for Apple. So it's considered a win for Apple for the court case, but this is actually not exactly the case here. It's not exactly a win because what's gonna happen is, according to Bloomberg here, this same court case decided that Apple has engaged in some anti-competitive conduct. And she ordered the Cupertino, California-based technology giant, Apple, to allow all app and game developers to steer consumers to outside payment methods on the web. So for us developers, that doesn't just mean you can say in your application, if you wanna purchase a subscription, go to our web app, all right? Our website and purchase it over there and then come back here and sign back in. You can now have a button in your app that opens up an in-app browser where you can complete the purchase for a seamless experience, then close that browser and now you refresh the app and you're in your app using it as a subscriber. So essentially, it's like completing the sign-up process within the application. So what developer in their right mind would consider using the Apple subscription from this point on? I don't know. It seems crazy to me that they would because now they can just do it right inside the app and it, it's pretty seamless. So what's the next step for Apple? Are they gonna turn off the in-app browsers so people can't do this? So it's a little bit harder for people to sign up for their subscription services? Who knows? I, for one, am kind of happy about this because I do create mobile applications and I publish to the App Store. So as a developer, I'm seeing this as a good thing. I don't have to pay 30% to Apple. There is a small inconvenience uh, to the user. It's not as seamless and integrated as the App Store payment subscriptions, but for 30% savings, uh, you can make that experience for the user pretty nice. So overall, Apple is going to be losing a ton of money. At least that's what's predicted. They could potentially be losing up to $20 billion per year. Now that, is not a drop in the bucket. All right, folks, if you like this kind of content, let me know by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time.